Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Pipe Report. So I was about to shower and get ready for work, and then I got a new news alert popping up on my computer, and I had to do a video on it. Bill Kristol is considering a run for president in 2020. For those who don't remember, the this is archived website, so you don't see his picture, but here's who he is, this guy. So, <laughs> yeah. I've There's been two people in media that I've hated for a long time, that I just can't stand. They're horrible human beings, they're just so biased, they're just insane, and they are Lawrence O'Donnell from MSNBC and Bill Kristol from The Weekly Standard. Bill Kristol has one of the most punchable faces I've ever come across. Just look at that, that smug, narcissistic look. And he is a neocon to the highest degree. People think Lindsey Graham's a bad neocon, John McCain, and they're right, but Bill Kristol makes them look tame. The only thing Bill Kristol wants is war. War, war, war. And I would love, I would love to see him run for president against Trump, and he would get absolutely demolished. And he, I would love to see his reaction, because as of right now, his whole platform is attacking Trump, is denigrating Trump. Is that Trump is bad, Trump is blah, blah, Trump is blah, you know, all this stuff. And he's just insane. He is just insane. Bill Kristol is such a fool. You can watch him on uh, ABC's election night coverage. And the whole night, he had this smug smirk on his face, like he knew what was about to happen. And then as soon as Donald Trump started taking the lead, and everyone started realizing Trump was going to win, he still kept that smirk. I think that smirk is literally glued. That smug look is literally glued onto his face. But he wasn't so cocky anymore. And whenever he talks, he talks in a way that he knows exactly what is happening. He knows, he knows everything. And he is such a clown, such a clown. So I would love to see him run against Trump, and then see Trump absolutely destroy him, and then see him go run back to his little cave and then start attacking Trump again. It would just be humorous to see. Now many people know who Bill Kristol is, and that's a good thing. You don't want to know, because the more you read about this man, the more you hate him, the more you hate his policies, the more you hate how he is obsessed with war. Him and John McCain would be a great ticket together. Him being the presidential candidate, John McCain being the VP candidate. Those two are so like-minded, but Bill Kristol, yeah, it's just... It looks like... He, According to the article here, he might have a chance in New Hampshire, he's thinking. Or rather, that would be his... He would have to do well in New Hampshire to really dictate how he's going to do in further races. And I would love to see him try, just to see him get demolished. Okay, that's pretty much all I had to say on that. There's not really much new news besides that, but it's just funny that someone like Bill Crystal, who is the type of person he is, so narcissistic, thinks that he might actually have a good shot of running 2020, even if he would, for the sake of argument, even though it would never, ever, ever happen, even if he would somehow out-primary Trump, he would get absolutely destroyed in the general election because no one in Trump's base would vote for him. No one, or I should say maybe only the neocon wing of the Republican Party would vote for him, Come Republicans, ordinary Republicans, they wouldn't go for him. Now with somebody who just wants to spend, 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 and someone who just wants to go to war with every single country there is. So yeah, Bill Kristol is a joke. He's probably the biggest joke next to Lawrence O'Donnell, and I would love to see him run just to see him get destroyed by Trump and then see how he reacts. It just, I can't stand looking at him though. It just, the man is just, wow. It's just, his Twitter feed his Twitter feed during the 2016 election. Actually, I used to look at it quite a lot. And all this the stuff he was saying, and so he was good friends with Mitt Romney's campaign manager, and together they just attacked Trump 24-7, saying, oh, I can't wait till, you know, election in a week or whatever it was, two weeks from now, when Trump is finally gone from the Republican Party forever. <laughs> just constantly attacking Trump, making fun of Trump and all Trump supporters, and it came back to bite him. And now he's trying to save his ass, and now he even thinks he might actually have a shot of victory in 2020. It won't happen, but it'd be very, very fun to watch. And I'm done.